your Amazon customers are coming in and they're first shopping with words. They're shopping with words first. They're not shopping with just their eyes. And, and now that's the second part, right? They're shopping with words first and then their eyes. They're looking at your images. So first you need to attract your clients, your customers, your people with words. What are your customers going to sit and type in when they think of your product? They want that product. What is the need they're meeting or problem they're solving? I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example of something I've been seeing on Merchant Words. I don't love this example, but it's real. Cheap gifts for my boss under $50. That's literally cheap gifts, cheap, cheap gifts for boss under $50 on Amazon. What does that tell you, first of all? It tells you exactly what the customer wants. They're telling you with their keyword phrases exactly what they want. They want a cheap gift for their boss under $50. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't love calling my product cheap, but I like to put that in somewhere in my listing. So I'm not going to write cheap products for boss. I'm going to put gifts for boss under $50 in my listing somewhere. So then I'm solving a problem. It's a gift for a boss. The second problem is it's under $50. $49.99 still counts, right? <laughs> um, so you can build those keyword phrases in and that's what your customers are searching for. They're not searching for necessarily all the individual items inside of that. They're solving a problem. They're typing that in. Another thing I just recently researched, I'm just sharing ideas for, for like off the top of my head here. Uh, my daughter wants a new dance bag. Her dance duffel bag is proving hard to keep nice, cute dresses and the costumes clean and fresh. So I'm, I'm being suckered into buying one of these dance bags. Now, y'all, I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but it's like this giant rolling suitcase about 30 inches long and it has a pop up clothing rack inside of it. No joke. It's like this rolling duffel. It, 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 I think it's the size it, it does qualify as like a carry on and you hang up everything in there in garment bags and it folds f like flat. I don't know the people on the podcast can't see my hand motions here, but I'm literally like kind of designing this and it's like a clothing rack. You just pop up out of the bag and boom, all of your stuff is hanging up in the proper bags and ready to just roll down the hallway for your next, you know, when they dancing they have to quickly change because they're constantly changing their clothes to go to another dance and to do this and it, it's mass chaos somehow but anyway this dance bag is very important apparently to all these quick changes and things like that and as we're doing more dance i'm learning more about this well here's the thing you have to know what the buyers are going to call this and y'all i had no idea what this dance bag was that she was talking mom i want one of those rolling um like wardrobe bags and i was like what and so i had to of course where's the first place i go as a consumer i went to the amazon app and i was like okay and i put wardrobe dance bag right and i had to scroll through three pages of stuff before i could find something that was similar to what she was describing and turns out the word wardrobe wasn't in there. Although that's what she called it, the seller wasn't calling it that, so I had a hard time finding it. That's my point. What is your customer going to call that? Now, someone, whoever's selling said dance bag, first of all, thanks a lot for it being $200. Um, I get it, it costs money, it's like a suitcase, it's like luggage, it's a suitcase with like a rolling rack. Okay, I know I want it to be cheap, right? <laughs> but make a bundle because then I had to buy the garment bags all separately and that was annoying. And then the right proper hangers that fit on there so that it still zips up. Like sell all that together, bundle, do it. I'm your first customer um, and it's expensive and sell it in multiple colors because the pink and the, the blue doesn't match their dance colors. I need red. <laughs> anyway, no, to self, product development, whatever. The reality is you have to type in what your customers are typing in to find yourself. They're not just sexy seller words. Use the words your buyers are. Your buyers are going to call that a rolling, um, you know, dance wardrobe pop up clothing rack in a bag. That's basically all the description. Use all the words your customer. I don't care about sexy words and vocabulary. Use the words your customer using. If they're using the word stuff. Use the word stuff. 
I'm not kidding. I know it seems really like bad language or not proper, you know, grammar or things like that. Well, you know, you want to use stuff that the algorithm is going to pick up. But the word stuff is constantly on merchant words. You'll see it. It's like, uh, you know, stuff for my camper van, stuff for um, my school bag, stuff for lockers, middle school. Like people use the word stuff. If you're not using the word stuff, look it up with your keywords and see how many people type it in. T title your items like your customers know who will be purchasing your item and why who what when where why and how y'all this is good stuff who what when where and why and how of your product or bundle that need that's what someone's typing in space saver organizer use the words your customers are using and if you don't know them use relatedwords.org Use Google, use Pinterest, search everywhere else. You don't just have to be on Amazon. Use the word, what do they call this in Europe? What do they call it in Mexico? What do they call what you're, you're describing in other languages and other cultures? The difference between a house coat and a robe could just be simple East Coast, West Coast. You don't know. Do the research. Why? Because you get more customers. That's why.